Welcome everybody. And today we're looking at the June LCA release, The Rhyme. Ron is a collaboration between Pravada, Cigar Clowns, and AJ Fernandez. The blend itself and the tobacco comes from AJ Fernandez. It is wrapped in a Habano and it is a Nicaraguan Puro. And that's all we know about the blend. It is a classic Toro, a six by 50. As far as the look of this nice Habano wrapper, it's got a good consistent color. There are a few visible veins and it's got a nice, what looks to be double cap on there. As far as the band itself goes, like all the LCA bands, this one is awesome. It's got that clown on there. It says Borough of New York City, Brooklyn. It's got a series number. Um, almost looks like potentially this could be used as currency at some point. So that's kind of what we know about the blend. We know that it's the June LCA. We know it comes from AJ Fernandez. As far as the smell of the cigar, I get like a sweet tobacco or a honey wheat even on the wrapper, on the foot. On the foot, I get a nice sweet tea. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. I'm gonna use this Pravada. We're gonna do a straight cut on this one. All right. Cut through there just fine. See what the draw is like. A little bit of a snug draw on there. Yeah, I feel it's a little tight right here. Compared to the rest of the cigar, it's a little bit tight right here. Not up by the band like usual, but right there. It's got it's got a medium draw. We'll see how it is. A little bit of earthiness and some tea on that cold draw. All right. Go ahead and light it up. Some cedar notes right there, right off the bat. But sometimes that, that real quick initial note before the tobacco really warms up kind of goes away. But some nice cedar right there, some nice deep wood. And the draw is still a medium draw. It's definitely not a loose draw, but it seems to be working out just fine. So hopefully it's not an issue. It's also got some nice creaminess to it. It's got a nice creaminess, a nice sharp pepper. On the retro hail, it's got almost a vanilla vibe to it, almost like a floral creaminess to it, as well as a white pepper. That's That cedar wood is, is really kind of what stands out about it so far, right there just off the first few draws. Now, as we get this cigar started, I figured looking at that band, and the fact that it's called the Ron, I think the obvious way to go for a movie pairing for this one would be maybe like It or some sort of scary clown movie. However, I'm gonna stick to the McDonald's theme and I'm gonna say that this cigar would pair very well with the founder. The reason I say that is that in the founder, one of the biggest lessons for me after watching that movie was be careful who you trust. And I tell you what, looking at the clown on this cigar band, I think that's a good lesson. I think you gotta be careful who you trust. And I think that the founder is a good movie pairing for this June LCA release. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the tobacco warm up and I'll come back and give you my tasting notes on that first third. So we are well into this first third. As you can see, I'm getting a little bit of an uneven burn, but I think that'll work itself out. And if it doesn't work itself out, it's not uneven enough to where I think it's gonna create an issue. As far as my flavor notes go here in this first third, I'm getting a nice well-defined wood, a cinnamon, I'm getting a nice leather note, and some creaminess in there. As far as the retro hail goes, I'm getting a nice wood and white pepper. We are well into the second third, and as far as the flavor notes go, they have transitioned a little bit. I've started getting a citrus, and a sourdough. They're not as well defined as that wood, which is still definitely there. And that cinnamon started trailing off a little bit as it's been trailing off. It's kind of mixed in with that leather 
that leather is starting to shine. This Habano is really bringing that leather note out. That creamy smoke is definitely still there. It's keeping that flavor profile nice and balanced. As far as the retro hill goes, it's still that wood and white pepper. And one thing I will say that I noticed is that the cigar has a nice medium finish on it. So those flavor notes don't stay on the palate for too long. That aftertaste doesn't stay for too, too long. All right, so here we are on the final third. For the flavor notes, I'm still getting that wood and the leather, a cayenne pepper mixed in there with a honey sweetness, and that is a really nice flavor. For me, it transitioned from that citrus that I was getting earlier. The Retro Hale still has that wood and pepper with the creaminess pushing a vanilla note in there, which really rounds out this nice complex flavor profile for me. Overall, this Nicaraguan Puro from AJ, that's a collaboration with Pravada, the LCA and the Cigar Clowns is a great smoke with a balanced flavor profile that has flavor notes that are easy to pick out. It's another solid release from the LCA. It's another great moment for Pravada. I'm out here enjoying the Pravada live while I'm smoking it. I hope you did as well. And that is it from me. As always, thanks for watching. I appreciate the views and have a good one.